What's up, guys? I like this T-shirt again. Yeah, in with it, out with it. Man, 30-27 to Mike Grundy. What was that about? Man, seriously, I, I want to say like something clever, but like, let's be real. They got to do something about the judges in this sport. You see it every single weekend, and it's, it's, it's painful to watch. It's painful, especially when you see it, two judges give it the wrong way. You know, when you get one judge the wrong way, it's whatever. It's just like, it's a nuisance. But it's people's money, it's people's careers, it's people's futures. Like, get your damn judges correct. Have them right, have them trained. It's, it's unacceptable. Like, I had to go back and watch the fight. Maybe in some, some way the guy could have feasibly saw it as a 30-27, but I don't think so. I don't think anybody else thought so. So fix your judges. This shit's getting old. Uh, that Maybe you could score it 2-1 to him, maybe. Maybe. I don't think so, but 30-27 was, was crazy, especially that second round I thought was very clearly yours. Thank you. Um, when that gets read out, you probably, I assume, feel you won the fight. So when you hear that scorecard get read out and you only have like two seconds before the next one, what's the emotion? Yeah, honestly, I looked around at everybody in the cage and everybody's faces went like this. You know, like they, everybody made a face. So I knew that it wasn't the right thing. I knew that people thought that was backwards. So I was pretty confident that the next one was going to be right. But it's stressful, man. It's like, that's half my paycheck if the, other, if the third guy gets it wrong, too. And it's, it's, it's unnecessary uncomfort. Yeah. Discomfort. Good catch. Featherweight, how's it feeling, man? I mean, he looks incredible. How do you feel at 145? Oh, phenomenal. Like, now that I'm here, it, I'm all in for the first time in my career. I'm training like I've never trained before. I've taken my nutrition like I've never taken it seriously before because I never took it seriously before. My cardio is on point. I felt phenomenal in there. I felt like I could have fought five rounds if I wanted to. Like, I, I fucking feel good in this division. It was one of my easiest weight cuts in my career, and I'm ready to just rock and roll in this division to the end of the time, man, to the to end of my career until I'm saying that I'm done in this sport. I'm a 45er. When you, uh, when you put that effort in, you put that bit more professionalism in, and then you get a performance like that, is it just pure validation? You're like, okay, I know what I have to do now. Yeah, like, I, I believe I have one of the best skill sets and one of the highest ceilings in the sport. Like, even tonight, like, I, fought, I felt like I fought a beautiful fight, but I felt like that was still no way near what I'm capable of doing. I feel like the seal, the, the, the stars are the limit, the sky is the limit, whatever you want to say, whatever cliche thing to say is, but I know how damn good I am. And I know what I can do in this division, and I'm, I'm fucking excited about doing it. Your wrestling was on point, man. He couldn't, yeah. couldn't hold you down. Uh, in fact, you took him down with a big slam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about that for a second. I, that was a nice takedown, but damn, bro, I almost knocked myself out with that. Yo, I slammed my head so hard on the mat, and when I hit, I had to take a second to, like, compose myself. I was really glad because I had a nice body lock on him, so I was able to shut down his hips and hold him there for a second. I felt like... You know, he was a little upset that he got taken down, so he kind of just chilled for a second, which really played out in my favor because, man, I was, I was seeing stars for a few seconds there. Like, legit? <sighs> legit. Um, he did land a couple of nice right hands as well, got you with a couple of rights. Any of those really have any Yeah, yeah no, nah, I mean, I feel like sometimes my head moves more than my brain does, right? Like, I get hit, but it don't really hurt. Like, I, I didn't get rocked from any of the punches. I felt fine. Like, yeah. You know, it makes me smile a little bit, but it's, like, it's a good landed shot, but no, I never, never got hurt by his punches. You mentioned something in the cage about it. You feel so good. How quickly do you want to get back in there? You know, I want to go, my, my legs are a little sore, bro. My knees are a little swollen from landing him uh, a handful of times on his head. No disrespect to Mike. He's a hell of a competitor. Um, but I, I like to get back in there. Like, let's go August, September, you know, go home, chill for a little bit, step back into camp. I'm not, I'm not a Kevin Holland. I'm not a cowboy. I'm not trying to jump in there in two weeks, man. Like, I want my body to be fresh and healthy before I step back in there again. And uh, when I do, I want to be at 100%. Anyone in particular? Got a name? Uh, I don't know. So that Moslar, uh, I, I can't remember his name. Because it was Moslar. Uh, uh, can you help me? That one. Evelot? Eloyev, yes. Oil Eloyev. No disrespect. He's a great fighter. He had a great fight with Grundy. And uh, I, I feel like I did just as well against Grundy, maybe even better than he did. And I said, he'd be great, Thug Nasty, you know, Groovy versus Thug Nasty. I mean, I'm just saying, right. battle of the nicknames, that would be a hell of a fucking showdown. Let's go so with that I'm one. down with that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I think that's a good one, right? I mean, he's a wrestler, but I'm not too high on his wrestling, so let's see if you can take me down, let's see if you can hold me down. I'm right. down with that. Congratulations, man. I need some tie-dye shorts, though, if he gets the camo ones.
don't know if he does now because they switched from Reebok to That's Venom, true. So he's That's like going to start all over again. I just slide in the DMs with Venom. All right. Uh, Lando, what'd you make of the uh, fans back in attendance? Fuck. Man, like seriously, like I, I, some people, I feel like it's weird because there's some guys and girls that say the Apex is more their style. They love it. It's like they love it. That's, that's more their home. They enjoy it. I hate that, man. Like I don't want to be in the Apex. I want to be here, but I want to be in front of 17,000 people. Like walking out and there's just all these people yelling, screaming, just stoked. Like, man, I love it. So it's, it's everything I'm in this sport for. Well, Derek Lewis is uh Derek. <laughs> so you know, hurry it up, so we'll let you we'll let you go. No, nah, no, nah, just bring him out here. What's up, bro? <laughs> What's up, man? You wanna yo jump in on my hey thanks man, jump jump in on my interview. What's up? How you doing, man? Yeah, big fan, bro. I appreciate everything you do for the sport. I'm I'm excited for your title shot. If I had your gas tank, man, shit, I would have been champ. If I had your power, I'd be champ too. You know what I'm saying, man? Hey. Your style, man. And great choice of music. Thank you, bro. Big fan of yours. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you, guys. Y'all have a great weekend.